I bet you can't handle these scary videos without getting freaked out because they are seriously scary. Number 5 This scary CCTV video of a woman's paranormal encounter went viral in 2016 and has been freaking people out ever since. Let's see if this is a real possession attempt like they say, or if someone is merely pretending their house is haunted. The paranormal activity begins late at night, possibly 3 a.m. when a ghost opens the door. You can kind of see some kind of movement in the doorway, an apparition perhaps, but it could be pixelation. The CCTV video then catches her bedspread falling away as if a ghost pulls on it. She's startled awake, scared, confused, and in the darkness, a spirit orb flies away. At the same time, scary noises are caught somewhere off camera. She turns on the light, but the light turns off all by itself, and another ghost orb flies away. She's freaked out and goes into the next room for a bit, but the paranormal activity is far from over. Okay, so it's hard to tell on the CCTV system, but the light switch is here. Her hand is on the bed when the light turns on all by itself, and then it goes back off, leaving her scared in the dark once more as she fearfully fumbles for her phone. A final spirit orb flies away from here and up to the light. Although this video is scary, some things make me question if this ghost sighting caught on CCTV is real or fake. Watch the corner of her pillow. When a ghost opens the door, the corner of her pillow moves by itself, almost like there is a string that's running behind her pillow to make it look like the door opens by itself. And instead of a ghost pulling the covers off, it looks like she could be pushing them down with her leg. The scary noises caught on camera could be made by someone standing in the corner of the room not seen here. And as for the light turning on by itself, there could be two light switches controlling the same light, the second one being off camera. But nevertheless, this footage is terrifying. Number 4 A YouTuber named Baskir Bennywall has been thinking about the strange events of this unexplained video taken on his helmet cam at night in India. The more he thinks about the mysterious encounter that I'm about to show you, the less sense it makes to him, and the more scared he becomes. So let's try to solve this video and help him explain the unexplained. Okay, so he's returning home with his friends, but the roads are very dark and soon they become completely lost. They are already going slow to look for road signs when a speed bump slows them down even more. That's when they capture on camera a mysterious figure in white walking up ahead. At first, they are excited because they think he will be able to give them directions to get back home, but the mysterious figure instead does not say a word or even acknowledge them, staring straight the whole time. Tell me what's being said during this short interaction in case I'm missing anything important. Something about the man is extremely off-putting and instantly gives this YouTuber the impulse to get away fast. After a while, however, they figure there's no harm in trying to ask for directions from him a second time and so they turn around. But here's where things get weird. They go to where he last was sighted, only to find... Mysterious that the mysterious figure has completely vanished, and it's not like a lot of time has gone by or anything like that. They encounter the strange silent man, keep going for another 20 seconds, turn around, and then drive back for another 20 seconds to where he just was. So not even a minute has passed before the figure mysteriously disappears. Assuming this was a person and not a spirit, he could have seen the motorcycle turning around and got scared, so he found somewhere to hide. But here's the thing, I never told you where they were returning from. They had spent the day at the Bangar Fort, which is said to be of the most haunted places in all of India. So maybe this was a ghost sighting of something paranormal that was following them home. I mean, walking around in the middle of the night in total darkness is weird. Not stepping off the road when a vehicle approaches is even weirder. And staring straight ahead when someone calls for your attention is just bizarre. So maybe it was a ghost on video after all. 
Number 3. Julie, Kelly, Emily, and Liz are the ghost moms, a paranormal investigation team from Kansas who are mothers by day and ghost hunters by night. The team has a unique ghost hunting style that I've never seen before. Aside from bringing a variety of equipment, they also use positivity and a motherly appeal that makes the paranormal feel comfortable enough to communicate with them. Tonight, they are extra scared, though, because the ghost moms are exploring an abandoned haunted prison at the Missouri State Penitentiary, a place where their motherly charm is not particularly useful. As they peer down a long, dark hallway, scary ghost noises beckon them from within. It's really scary not being able to see anything but through the camera. Here it is again with a sound up, the supposed creepy voice caught on tape. It could be a ghost EVP, or it could be something else like a bat flying away. It's hard to say which. They set up motion detecting paranormal equipment in the area where they heard the noise and apparently are able to convince a ghost to come out of its cell. Can you touch that ball? Oh, well Touch the light if you live here. Oh, thank you. Let's go. Oh my gosh. A scary loud noise from another cell demands their attention, and so they place a music box on the floor to see if anything is there. Why is it speeding up? It's speeding up. It's not stopping. It's really strange. It's really weird. They are scared because somebody has to be turning the handle to make the music play faster. And as you can see, none of the ghost hunters are near the object. It goes faster by itself. Why is it doing that? <laughs> oh, the rim pot's going off, oh. Julie. Rim pot just went off. Their equipment detects a ghost in the hallway when none of them are anywhere nearby, so that's bizarre to say the least, if not paranormal. Maybe it was a rat running by, but I think we all know it was probably a spirit. After the ghost moms split up to go exploring each haunted prison cell for more paranormal evidence, one of them hears what they think is a scary whispering voice, followed by a fit of laughter. Was it an EVP, or was it one of her fellow ghost hunters? Number 2. Adam McIntyre travels from Ireland to London to investigate the Woodrow High House, a house said to be haunted by the grieving ghost of a widow named Lady Helena Stanhope, who has been endlessly roaming these hallways since the 1600s. Adam and his ghost hunting pals think they encounter the spirit lady haunting this hallway, and I think they could be right. And immediately the door starts like opening and closing. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> no, I'm actually scared. Wait. There's literally no draft here. Wait. I don't like it. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> don't scream. Oh my god. <gasps> Adam is freaking out because a ghost is slamming doors in the same hallway where he will be spending the night. He mentions Helena nicely by name, treating her like a person rather than a sideshow attraction. This is my bedroom corridor, so I don't want her, like, Helena. And Helena the ghost responds by closing the door gently instead of slamming it shut like before. The three of them are really scared, so they don't go right away, but they do briefly explore the room from the door and I don't see anyone standing there. As they stand breathlessly outside, it becomes more than apparent that an apparition does not want to let them in. <laughs> Finally, the nervous trio works up the courage to enter the haunted room and conduct a little paranormal experiment of their own for more evidence. They lock the door to prove that it really is slamming the door and not a draft. After a while, like proper lock it. Oh, is it the wind, Kaylin? Is it the wind? Unfortunately, Adam's head is blocking the lock when it happens, so we never get to see how the ghost manages to open the door, or if it was one of them all along. 
I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. Police in the Indian city of Jhansi stand perplexed as gym equipment rises and falls by itself with no one touching it. They aren't sure what the proper protocol is for investigating paranormal entities moving objects, or more importantly, how to make a ghost stop moving everything. The video was posted on the official John C. Police page on Twitter, so there is no reason to think they would fake a ghost sighting because it could get them in trouble. Plus, one of the videos is a better resolution and it doesn't look like there are any strings attached to the equipment. Police later said that a hooligan greased the equipment to make it do this, but until someone can replicate this situation, I vote that the whole place is haunted after all. This countdown is not for the squeamish, so don't be surprised when these scary videos make you squirm with fear.